I've had my eye on this pair of sneakers for quite some time now, but was never able to justify the $170 retail price on these when they initially released back in September of 2019. Before I get further into why I didn't buy them back then, I obviously got around to grabbing them now. And they are this pair of the Nike Air Max 97, dubbed as the Nintendo 64s. It's important to note off the bat that these weren't a direct collaboration with Nintendo, rather they were inspired by the old school console. For the sake of this video too, I went ahead and dug up my old Nintendo 64 from the archives. Getting to the sneakers, they are mainly an all grey upper. While this grey is reminiscent of the original silver bullet colorway of the Air Max 97, this sneaker specifically takes on the hues of grey from the original Nintendo 64 console and controller combination. Moving to the controller specifically, the C buttons are depicted through the yellow in the visible air unit, as well as the triangles found from the mudguard all the way back towards the heel. The light grey upper is contrasted with the detailing of the blue and green stripes, representing the A and B buttons. Additionally, the hits of red through the swoosh branding and the striping at the tongue are courtesy of the start button on the controller. And while at the tongue, you can see the tabs that read power and reset. These represent the power switch and reset button found on the console, which I think is a super cool detail. And it only gets cooler from there. Looking at the insole, you can see this graphic that resembles an ESRB rating. While it's something that won't be seen visually, it's just another nice touch that draws on the video game inspiration. There isn't anything on the back tab, which is a shame. Around the time of release, Nike teased this photo with Air Max and a Nintendo-like font on the back. Nothing flashy to be found on the outsole either just the traditional traction pattern found on any other Air Max 97. The timelines of both the Air Max 97 and Nintendo 64 are super close in proximity, making this concept that much more meaningful. The Nintendo 64 made its North American debut in June of 1996, followed by the Nike Air Max 97's release in 1997. But getting back to this pair itself, it was a quick strike. And for those of you that aren't familiar with that term, a quick strike is generally a tier of shoe releases that is defined by limited numbers or availability to only exclusive stores. For being a quick strike, I was surprised to see these sitting in stores and online over the past few months. It even got to the point where they were entering a deep discount. I was actually able to walk away with my pair from Footlocker.com for around 100 bucks. While the overall quality on this pair is subpar at best, for around $100, you can't complain, I think it's a steal given the inspiration and content behind the shoe. If you check out some of my past videos too, you'll know that I've been grabbing old sneakers for the sake of nostalgia. But overall, I'm super happy to have these in my collection. I have so many vivid memories with the Nintendo 64. I had a console hooked up to my dad's 2000 Mercedes-Benz ML430 back in the day, and for any of my viewers that are car guys, you already know that that's a crazy setup for a kid to grow up with. Even beyond that, I just remember growing up and playing Smash Bros, Mario Kart 64, and a bunch of other classics with my friends. And even now, with retro gaming making a huge resurgence, I find the sneaker to be a timely one, and the themality of old school video games behind this pair is something I could find myself wearing proudly. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you like this pair of the Air Max 97? Is it something you'd buy at $100 on sale? Let me know all about in the comment section. If you liked the video, let me know by dropping a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of content planned out, so stay tuned for more to come. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.